the Bills per, promoted uh, Bobby Babich to the defensive coordinator position, and that's the first thing I hear about this dude. Um, just this energy that he brings, um, glowing reviews from the players. We've heard Hoyer, Hyde, um, this year Dodson talk about him, and I think this is a super interesting promotion because for starters, it's the guy that I wanted to get the job. Uh, I think everything he's touched on the defense has been great. Um, He was originally the safeties coach. Obviously, we've had some fantastic safeties. He moved to linebacker coach. We've had great play out of our linebackers. And, you know, you can partially say that's to do with the players themselves. Um, but we're also talking about late round draft picks and Hoyer and Hyde kind of being like cast offs from other teams and Milano's a fifth round pick. And, you know, even Tremaine Edmonds being a high pick had his best career, or had his best year um, under Babbage. We see Bernard, you know, that being kind of the biggest question for a lot of people going into this season, uh, you know, you're going to let Edmonds walk. What's the plan? And I won't speak for everybody. I had tremendous amounts of concerns about Bernard coming in and filling those shoes. And it, he so far, you know, exceeded my expectations. Like if I drew up on paper, what I wanted out of my linebacker, he, he exceeded that. So um, just, have to give some of the credit to the coaching, obviously some of it to the players, but when we're going to blame coaches all the time or when it doesn't look good, they got to get some credit. It can't just be, it can't just be the players when things go good and the coaches when it's bad. Um, and honestly, kind of the, the, the biggest glowing endorsement for him, for me, um, coming out of this past season was Terrell Dodson, um, who's been a guy who's, been around the bills for a number of years now and he's always kind of been this special teams reserve depth guy and you know unfortunately due to some some bad injury luck that we had to deal with Dodson got a ton of run this year and honestly it it wasn't even kind of like this glaring weak spot on the defense I think there's games that he had a really positive impact in Overall, I would say, like, at worst, we were getting, you know, a net neutral from him. Um, So that kind of that kind of speaks to the coaching and the positions that these players were being put in um, that a guy that's been around the team for five, six years now um, hasn't really done anything, was thrust into the starting lineup and. Didn't I mean, he, he wasn't blowing plays out of the water constantly, but. You didn't have this tremendous drop off, um, despite how high of a level uh, our linebacks were, were playing at. Um, so I think that says a lot about Babbage. And what I find interesting about this is, I guess what kind of happens behind the scenes of the number one reason I wanted to promote Babbage is I, I felt like if it didn't happen this year, uh, I thought he had earned it. And I thought he was going to get looks from other teams. Um, that spot obviously being open unless McDermott was going to continue doing it. Um, I thought overall McDermott did a good job as a defensive coordinator. Um, but also something that I, I wanted him to be able to take a step back from that and you know have his input on the defense. But still be able to kind of step back and just be the head coach again. Um, so happens this off season that Babbage starts getting, you know, offers for a defensive coordinator position. And I think the major thing for me is, you know, were there discussions behind closed doors of, is he going to be able to, you know, implement his own ideas? Um, is he going to be the defensive play caller on game day? Um, and I have to think that at least some of that power is going to be given to him because it doesn't make much sense for me for for him to to have stayed in Buffalo if he's not going to have those opportunities. Um, there would be a myriad of opportunities outside of Buffalo 
that would be a better opportunity to advance his career. And I, I look at this kind of as like, uh, it, it just kind of the example in general, not, you know, the names or the people or anything. Um, but Eric B enemy in Kansas city. And for so long, he was this, this hot head coaching name. And, you know, year after year, just wasn't getting head coaching opportunities. You know, he would interview, but not get offered the job. And, you know, this is where I'm just using kind of the the situation and not the person excel. Um, I've heard maybe the enemy is not a great interview, blah, 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 all that. Um, but so much so that, you know, is it the enemy? Is it Reed? Is it Mahomes? That he kind of had to do a lateral move to kind of show like, you know, hey, I do know what I'm doing um, because those the coaches, the player, um, the situation is kind of started to be what what the credit was going toward red towards rather than the enemy um so i see a very similar situation in buffalo um whereas if i don't think i feel like if he wasn't being given those opportunities to call plays to run a defense um that it probably would have been adios to babich 